Hey guys, what up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video blog. So there's been some good discussion on my last video about Adobe XD and Adobe Experience Design CC. In particular, how it's fallen short um, based on my expectations. Now, I don't know if I tried to explain it in terms of what my workflow is, but I want to give you a demonstration of a small portion of my everyday workflow to give you an understanding of what I mean when I say something has fallen short based on what my needs are, okay? And it's gonna be surrounded around the bitmap capabilities of what fireworks or what in particular, what a Photoshop would do. And so when I say a software or an app is lacking in bitmap capabilities, I wanna show you exactly what I mean by that, all right? So check this tutorial out, let me know your feedback. And also as you, as I demonstrate this, think about what other apps do this on the market today. So there's a lot of apps that fall short in terms of what I need on a daily basis. So like um, apps like Sketch, Affinity, all these apps fall short when it comes to effective or substantial bitmap capabilities, right? Photoshop does it, Fireworks does it, but Fireworks is the only app, why I love it so much, that has bitmap, vector, as well as prototyping, and that's to keep. But check this tutorial out and let me know your thoughts. All right, thanks. All right, so here we are in Adobe Fireworks, and so I'm gonna give you a small example of my everyday workflow that involves working with bitmaps. And when I say bitmaps, I'm, I'm speaking of simple magic wand, cropping tool, uh, or the marquee tool, that is, uh, in addition to some of the vector components and prototyping, okay, which Adobe Fireworks gives, and hopefully this gives you a good understanding of why Adobe Fireworks is so vital to an everyday workflow for a UI UX designer and why I'm disappointed. Um, in the lack of bitmap functionality in Adobe XD. All right, so let's go over to Twitter. I'm gonna use Twitter in, as an example. For privacy reasons, I can't show you my work at ADP, but let's just say I'm working with a product manager at Twitter, right? And they want to, um, here's the search results page. I just clicked on the walking dead. And in this particular page, Dara is saying, you know what, Mike? Our sprints coming up in a week and a half we want to add a third component with some content over here on the right for larger screen sizes it's going to be a res responsive situation so if you have a large screen size you'll get maybe a third column over here uh, of some content and whatnot and so product manager will you know speak to me kind of give me all the details I'll start cropping things up right away so for example I'll take a screenshot of that live page of the live app that we have out there live and ready and I'll start cropping things up. So for example, I'll get my my crop tool. I'll start, uh, I'll stretch that out a little bit like that. Um, let me just come here. I'll crop this out. Right, and then I'll, I'll come here, maybe crop that, and I'll stretch it out like that. And right off the bat, I just made a background and then I'll paste this thing on here and as you can see I can move this around and fit it into where I and so right off the bat I started working with the bitmap cropping tool just to kind of get to where to get to a nice starting point okay so I can come over to my live app and use other components that was in our requirements so for example let's just say we wanted to bring a couple of these 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 containers up to the right hand side so I can go ahead and do another screenshot again I'm always I'm just working with bitmap tools at this point um, and I'm just cropping things in and out so let me just come up here paste that down like that also if I wanted to I can lock it can lock the background obviously um, so move that there like that and let's just say you know that's that's kinda like part of the requirement right to have a little third a third sort of column like that. If I wanted to, I can come in a little further, obviously, and I could, um, if I needed to change portions of this particular, um, you know, font or whatnot, I can come in and crop things out and then add text on top of it. So if I needed to change the, the, the colors and th things like that, so I can add vector components on top of my bitmap cropping, cropping, right? So also let's just say that um, so here you know I've reworked my requirement I have some of the components I'm gonna send this over to my product manager 
let's just say I want to crop, here's a little X icon, so when you click X, we want this stuff to disappear. So I'm gonna come over here, crop this out, use my bitmap tool. Paste that in there, let's just move this right over here. All right? So basically, if I wanted to, okay, bring that down there, but now I wanna crop out the little small portion down here like that, I can do that. So now you can see there's a little X over here, right? So let me just go ahead and duplicate that page. So this is page two. All right, so on page two, well, page one, I click that, and this all, all this entire column disappears, right? So on page one, it's there. Page two, I want this stuff to be gone. So in my mock-up, I could mock-up, you know, I could link all this up to the point to where, you know, obviously in, in Adobe Fireworks, you have the capability of doing bitmap stuff, vector components, and prototyping. So I can prototype this up and link this up. So when you click the little X icon right there, you get to page two. Okay, and you can do that really easily um, with the, the um, the linking up tool pretty quickly in, in Adobe Fireworks. But here's the point, here's it, and here's the other last thing. Let's say I need to add another component, um, vector component to this. Like for example, at ADP, we work with vector icons um, called Font Awesome Icons. And this is an icon set that gets pulled in through CSS, but sometimes I don't have the assets readily available to me. So if I wanted to use a, um, an icon like this, I do a copy. I can do a quick copy and paste into Fireworks. And let's say I wanted to convert this to a vector file. I can get my magic wand tool, select that area, do a right click and do a marquee or modify marquee, convert to path, and right away I get a vector icon uh, instantly from a path. And so that's, that's full on vector. I can add a, a gradient to it if I want change that gradient however you want. Um, I can manipulate the points using my subselection pointer, right? So it's a full on vector file instantly from a bitmap. Let me get back to that. And then here I can just scale that down into place. So if I wanted to, um, if I needed to put that somewhere on in my application I can do that but I use this particular feature that I just demonstrated there that marquee to path tool I use that almost daily but the point is here I am I have a, a, a mock-up that's ready to be sent to my product manager and I was able to crop up a lot of the live app using the bitmap tools within Adobe Fireworks okay let's just show you if I was able to copy an image and paste it into paste it into um, Adobe XD, there's absolutely nothing I can do to this bitmap other than resize it or lower the opacity, you know, or create, you know, change the rounded corners or whatnot. But I can't crop it up. I can't modify this, this, this mock-up, this bitmap, or anything. There's no bitmap capabilities in Adobe XD. So as you can see, what I just demonstrated here in Adobe Fireworks, this is what I do daily. And my product managers love me because I am able to quickly mock things up for them really quickly and prototype things up pretty quickly. And it's all a part of the workflow. It's all in Adobe Fireworks. Bitmaps, vector, and a full-on paging system for prototyping. There's no other app on the market that does it. Now, obviously, Photoshop is powerful enough to do this. And in the, in the future, if I have to work with Photoshop, I will obviously have to work with a, um, another application like Envision for its prototyping capabilities. But for now, for me to be able to use Adobe XD, it's taken me back several years. Now I have to use Adobe XD. I have to use Photoshop. Now I'm using multiple applications rather than an all-in-one tool like Adobe Fireworks. So that's, my, that's a small portion of my workflow. Hopefully this was helpful, give you an understanding of when I say bitmap capabilities. This is what I'm talking about. 
So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any comments, please, actually, I'm interested to know your feedback. Leave the comments below, and uh, we'll chat. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon. Peace.